Hey guys, so what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. I am Starco Gaming and we are back with another Dragon Champion video. Guys, today we're going to be jumping into the test server and we're going to take a look at the new character that's going to release on July 1st, Roxy. Uh, a new bird guys so we're gonna be uh taking a look at our kit and uh pretty much guiding you on how to actually play her then uh, after that guys at the end of uh, this video we're gonna be jumping into a uh, guild raid and we're gonna test her in the full pride team in guild raid so uh, that is pretty much the plan of this video but before we get started with all of that guys if you're level 15 or below in the dragon champion make sure to use the promo code the star code to get $10 worth of freebies to do so. It is very, very simple. You go in settings, use promo code, and you enter the code STARCO. And then you press OK. And if you did not uh, already claim a code from another uh, content creator, you will receive $10 worth of freebie. But if you're past level 15, this offer no longer stands pretty much. So let's jump into uh the hero page here as you can see we have a five prize set as favorite this is basically going to be the team we're going to be using with roxy uh we're going to be using hira with lead uh, because dodge increase and then so much uh bonus for pride pride defender times for two turns uh pride healers and taxation again again invisibility for two turns which is going to be applying to roxy so just because of that we're going to be using hero and i think she has the best uh pride uh, leadership in my personal opinion uh for this setup and then we're going to be using boreas and keggy because they have synergy with roxy and salvador for the tank uh, obviously but we're not going to look at the other one the other ones are going to come in the future video because we're going to be starting to focus on pride some people are looking at build pride team because of her now and uh, so that is pretty much what we're going to do here so we're going to jump on roxy here today this is roxy we actually talking about uh so what is the kit of roxy first well let's take a look at that first we have the first ability deal 200 percent magic damage to an enemy deal 14 percent more damage per stack of feathers effect on roxy after the damage remove one feather effect from roxy the feather effect we're going to see it uh in a few minutes when we progress through skills uh second skill ill allies for 400 percent of roxy magic damage and an additional and an additional 20% magic damage per every stacks of feathers on Roxy. Distributes all feathers effects stack equally between all allies and Roxy. So everybody gets feathers pretty much. That's pretty much what the feathers does. Now uh, here we go. The first passive uh is that the passive? No, that's the third skill. Wow, I'm losing my mind. Uh, <laughs> apply five feathers effect to an ally for two turns, apply five stacks more if, if keggies is one of the allies and apply five stack more if boreas is one of the allies which is why we bring boreas and keggy into this team and every stacks of fitters reduce the damage taken by five percent so mostly you're not applying that to your tank most of the time so um yeah our tank is going to get a lot of love from this ability and then we have the passive ability roxy gets one fitter for two turns at the end of the for two turns at the end of the turn uh, allies will uh, uh allies with at least one stack of feathers effect gets one random buff keggy and boras gets two random buff possible buff active during two turn r damage increase ace potency increase critical hit chance increase critical damage increase and counter attack in the current so you can see a lot of buffs so um now pretty much what will be the skill priority to actually get those skills up uh, i think that number one skill is definitely this one this one because it's the healing skills and the healing is going to be mandatory so i think that will be the first skill we should actually get to level six then this will be my second skill to get to level six and then my third skill to get to level six and this one I don't see really uh, any effects to actually have to the level six. I think the difference between each level is not big enough uh, to actually be worth 
uh, to get to level six or level four, level five, this skill is just good enough in my personal opinion. So those are the skill priority. I will go two, four, and three. That will be my skill priority to get to uh, level six in that setup. Now, if we take a look at the runes, uh, the runes we're going a um, a different way than usually on healers you know she does not have potency so you don't need potency her hp is actually decent for a healer she's above 20,000 hp so you don't really need to put hp so what i decided to go with her is to put two tenacity so she does not get uh debuff as much which is very very important and four speed so she can attack more often uh, generate those feathers more often and buff there's a DLIs more often. That's pretty much the decision I went. So we went two tenacity rune with four speed runes to get all that together. And I think personally, I really think that is the best setup for her. Now, if you do disagree, as always, guys, there's a comment section down below. Let me know what you think. But if we look at the stats here, so since we get the tenacity up, we're going to look at the tenacity here. We get that to 69%. So it's 69% chance to not get a, a, a debuff apply. Well, not really that. It's more like a potency of the person that's attacking you minus the tenacity that you have that will equal the percentage of chance that debuff will be applied to you. So if you have 70% tenacity and the opponent has 100% potency, well, they will have 30% chance to apply debuff to you and that is pretty much the way potency and tenacity works so by having it at 69 percent that gives us a huge huge advantage on not getting stunned not getting bleed and stuff like that uh, and after that the speed the speed you want to get your speed around 200 which we have at 206 so the speed is totally fine and i forgot to look at the primaries here so the primaries you want to go uh, primary number one you want to go with speed Primary number two, you want to go with, uh, actually damage will be better here. Wow, why did I put HP there? Maybe because I did not have damage. And yeah, I did not have damage. I don't want critical damage here. I really want pure damage. So since I do not have any right now, uh, we're going to leave that like that. Unless I have a tenacity one to put there. I have damage as the bottom. Oh, we do have one here. So we're probably going to do the switch, put a speed up there. Let's see if we get a speed. Yep, let's pick a good speed. Elt, Elt, speed. Uh, I like that. Let's put that. Let's upgrade that. Then here we're going to put a tenacity one. The one we were. Uh, well, let's see which one is the best. That gives you a little idea of how I'm actually looking at my rune when I set them up. So we got speed shield armor. Not the best secondary on it, but the damage increase is going to be very useful. So we're going to put that there. We're going to upgrade this one. And then we're going to look at, uh, look at the stats again. So you can see here we get a little bit of speed armor. Good armor here. Uh, we got 4.6% damage from this one. Uh, so if we look now, uh, tenacity drop a little bit, 68.95%, still very solid, 215 speed, the speed is doing very good, and the magic damage is up to 3,355, so doing pretty good with that, and that is pretty much those three stats you actually aiming for, those are the three important stats, guys, so, uh, I think that we do have a very solid build with that, uh, I do believe so. Sorry guys, I got something beeping here. <laughs> Okay, so with that said, guys, next we're, uh, we're going to be jumping into uh, the gameplay. We're going to be jumping in guild raids. We're going to test her, uh, well, test her with the team to see how she performs as a healer. And now that whole team performed together with the buff she brings. So we're going to test that out in guild raids, uh, level uh, tier 7 raids, obviously. And uh, we're going to see how it goes. So hopefully you uh, you guys enjoyed this video. The gameplay is going to be just gameplay in those no voiceover so you can see all the screens so guys thank you for watching uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel don't forget to drop a like on this video and let me know what content you will love to see next uh in my dragon champion video obviously guys so you all enjoy the gameplay section and i will see you again next time thank you